Now we're going to try and learn uh, how to calculate the pH of strong acids and strong bases. And we have previously discussed uh, that water ionizes. Uh, just a quick recap, Kw is the concentration, it's the ionic product of water of the ions. And the value is 1 into 10 to the minus 14. And if you take the log of that, you get this, uh, you take the negative log, you get this expression. Where this is pH, this is pOH, and it's equal to 14. And pH stands for the negative log of the concentration of H plus 1. So we're going to try and learn how to calculate the pH of strong acids and strong bases. Now the definition of a strong acid is that it fully ionizes. What that means is that if you take a strong acid like HCl, uh, the HCl molecule, when, you, when it is mixed with water, it's going to completely break down into two ions. One is your H plus 1 ion and the other one is Cl minus 1 ion. So if you have a thousand molecules, all of them are going to ionize and they're going to dissociate and break down into H plus 1 and Cl minus 1 ions. And also remember that this equation is also an oversimplification because I told you that H plus 1 ions, they don't really exist in aqueous state. What actually happens is that an HCl molecule reacts with water. It loses the H plus 1, but this H plus 1 goes and gets attracted to the water molecule to form a hydronium ion. And Cl minus 1 ions are left. So the H is lost. And so remember H plus 1, it's not roaming around freely. It's, uh, it's always attached to a water molecule forming a hydronium ion. So whatever you call it, whenever you see this H plus 1, it's actually this H3O plus 1 ion over here. Now let's move to finding the pH of the strong acid or the base. Uh, for strong acids and bases, finding pH is extremely easy. And the reason it is extremely easy is that uh, you can find the H plus 1 concentration directly. For example, if you have HCl and the concentration of HCl is 0.15 mole per decimeter cube. Then, since it's a strong acid, it's going to fully ionize, and the ratio is 1 ratio 1. So, if you have an HCl molecule, the amount of H plus 1 would be exactly the same. One molecule breaks down to produce one molecule, one ion of H plus 1. So, 0.15 mole per dm cube are going to produce exactly according to the ratio, exactly the same. Because there's a complete ionization that's happening. And the next part is very easy, that if you have the concentration of H plus 1, pH is simply the negative log of the concentration of H plus 1, which in this case is going to be the negative log of 0 0.15, and you're going to get your pH value. So here you can see that I've done the calculation. Negative log of 0.15 gives me 0.823. And rounding to three significant figures, it's going to give me 0.824. So that's how you're going to find the pH of a strong acid. So very easy, you don't have to do anything. If you have the concentration of HCl, you can directly find the concentration of H plus 1 ions uh, according to the ratio, and uh, you can take the negative log of that, and that would give you this number over here. And I have previously also told you that uh, the pH, if the lower the pH, the higher would be the H plus 1 concentration. So 0.824 is kind of low, which means the concentration of H plus 1 ions is kind of high. And also remember that pH has no specific range. Although in O levels you've studied it uh, from 0 to 14, but there is no specific range. Uh, it's only that uh, the concentration values, they don't go very high. I mean, you don't have 10 mole per dm cube HCl or 100 mole per dm cube HCl. It's usually in decimals, so, so it, which is why it's usually range bound. Uh, the lowest it usually goes to is around 0, but it can have negative values as well. It can go into the negative side as well. Uh, it can go lower than this as well. So let's try and calculate the pH of another acid. So here I am trying to calculate uh, the pH of uh, 0.05 mole per dm cube nitric acid. So if I have 0.05 mole per dm cube nitric acid, the pH is going to be, uh, the concentration of H plus 1 is going to be exactly the same since it's a strong acid as well. Remember, uh, only for a strong acid would the two ions would have the same concentration because if it were a weak acid, a weak acid doesn't ionize fully. So if you have 100 moles of this, this is not going to be 100 moles because not all of them would be breaking down. So only for a strong acid are the concentrations approximately the same. And I can take the pH, I can calculate the pH, the pH would come out to be minus log of 0 0.05, which gives me, and my calculator gives me this value, it's uh, 1.30 rounded to three significant figures. So our value is 1.30, uh, that's the value of pH that we are getting. Now, the next thing we're going to try and do is we're going to try and find the pH of strong bases. So, which are strong bases? Uh, strong bases are also those that ionize fully and they produce uh, OH ions. 
uh, for example, group 1, hydroxides uh, and oxides are strong bases. Similarly, those uh, lower down in group 2, oxides and hydroxides, they're also considered to be strong bases. Ammonium hydroxide is a strong base. Uh, so we're going to try and find the pH of strong bases. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the pH of, uh, let's say, 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube of NaOH. It's a group 1 hydroxide. It dissociates or ionizes fully. So if I write an equation, NaOH is going to ionize and it's going to produce Na plus 1 and OH minus 1. Now, exactly like acids, if the concentration of the base is given, which in this case is 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube, then you can find the concentration of OH ions uh, because it is fully ionizing, the concentration of OH ions is going to be exactly the same. So it's going to be 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube as well. Now, we have studied that what's, what is pH? How do you calculate pH? The formula for pH is minus log of the concentration of H plus 1 ions. Now, uh, in this equation, uh, we don't have H plus 1 ions. We have OH minus 1 ions. So we need to go back a little. And if you go back, uh, what we can do is that instead of finding pH, remember there was KW, the ionic product of water, which was the concentration of H plus 1 into the concentration of OH ions. Now, there are two ways of solving this. One is that you have the concentration of OH ions. You have the value of KW. So you can find the value or the concentration of H plus 1 using this formula. Or the other thing is that instead of finding pH, what you could do, uh, the whole expression, if the negative of log is taken, the expression would be pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So instead of finding pH, you could actually go and find pOH. What is pOH? It's the minus log of OH ion concentration. And you can then find pH by simply uh, subtracting this value from 14. You get this to the other side and you'll get the value of pH. Uh, so we're going to go for pOH in this case. So coming back to our question, let's not find uh, let's not find pH initially. Let's go for pOH. It's the minus log of the concentration of OH minus 1, which in this case is the OH ion concentration is 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. So in this case, that's minus log of the concentration of 0 0.1. And if we do that, the value that I get on my calculator for this is 1. So I'm getting pOH equal to 1. So now... So remember, for bases, uh, don't find pH because you don't, you won't have the concentration of H plus 1 initially. According to your equation, you'll have the concentration of OH minus 1 ions. So you find pOH initially. And once you've found pOH, I'm going to write the expression of, which is that pH plus pOH equals 14, uh, which in my case is going to be pH plus pOH value is coming out to be 1. So that's equal to 14. And if we solve further, pH would come out to be 14 minus 1, which would be equal to 13. So my pH comes out to be 13. And a higher value indicates that uh, it indicates a lesser concentration of H plus 1 ions. Remember, in a basic uh, condition, if you have a, add a base, the concentration of H plus 1 is going to be very less. And we have already uh, explained earlier that if you get a very high value of pH, that means the concentration of H plus 1 is extremely low. 13 indicates that the concentration, this is in terms of log. 13 indicates that the concentration of H plus 1 is 1 times 10 to the power minus 13, which is extremely, extremely low. Now we're going to try and do the reverse as well, which is that uh, we're going to try and find the concentration of the acid or the base if the pH is already given to you. So it's the reverse type of question. So for example, so, for example, I'm asked to find the pH of nitric acid and it's given as, uh, I'm not asked to find the pH, the pH is already given, it's given as 1.8 and I'm being asked to find the concentration of nitric acid. Now, nitric acid ionizes, dissociates and produces H plus 1 and NO3 minus 1 ions. Uh, if pH is given, that means that I know that the minus log of H plus 1, this is pH, is coming out to be 1.8. So we can uh, solve for the concentration of H plus. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the minus sign to the other side. So let's take that. It's going to be log of the concentration of H plus 1. And that would be equal to minus 1.8. And the next thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to get rid of uh, this log over here. And so I'm on both sides, I'm going to take the anti-log. So here I have taken the anti-log on both sides. And that's going to get rid of this log over here and on my left side I'll be left 
with the concentration of H plus 1 only. And what we also need to understand is what is anti-log. So on your calculator, you just have to press shift and press uh, log. That's going to give you the, the opposite of log, which is 10 to the power minus 1.8. So anti-log is basically, if you take the anti-log of anything, you just have to raise it to the power of 10. So it would be minus 1.8. That would become the exponent of the ta of 10. Uh, this is base 10 log. Uh, so uh, this is what you're going to do. Hopefully you know how to use log and how to how to take log and how to how to take the anti log. So I can also show you on the calculator that uh, anti log is you're going to press shift and then press log. And it was minus 1.8. So you take minus 1.8. And this is the value that you get. So this is how you just press shift and log on your calculator in most calculators or it's uh, in simple terms anti log or the reverse of log is 10 to the power x and you're getting a value of uh, 0 0.015 and 8 correct up to three significant figures so this is my answer to the concentration of h plus 1 and i'm going to go back to the equation and if the concentration of h plus 1 is 0 0.018 mole per dm cube Then the concentration of nitric acid is also going to be, it's one ratio one. So it's going to be exactly the same. And that's the answer. That's the opposite way of doing the question. If the pH is given, you're, you're being asked to find the concentration of nitric acid. So we are done with this. Now, similarly, we can try and uh, find the concentration of a base like NaOH uh, when the pH is given. The pH for a base is given as 11.9. Now, remember, bases have OH ions. Uh, so we don't really, uh, so we should look towards uh, finding the concentration of OH ions instead of the, finding the concentration of uh, of H plus 1 ions. So I'm going to use the relationship which was that pH plus pOH was equal to 14. I'm going to use this relationship uh, and I'm going to put in pH over here, that's 11.9 plus uh, pOH and that gives me 14. Uh, so I'm going to try and find the value of pOH because if I look for the concentration of OH ions, then I would be able to figure out the concentration of this strong base, which is NaOH. Uh, so pOH is going to be 14 minus 11.9, uh, and that would give me that would give me 2.1. So my pOH instead is actually 2.1. And using this pOH value, pOH is the negative log of the concentration of OH ions. Uh, which is equal to 2.1, I'm going to try and find the concentration of OH ions. The first thing is I'm going to take the minus sign to the other side. So it's going to be plus on this side and minus on the other side. And taking the inverse log, the anti-log, uh, that would give me the concentration of OH ions. The anti-log would, would be 10 to the power minus 2.1. And let's uh, try and find that. On, uh, I'm going to try and find that on my calculator now. So it is going to be shift log to get the anti-log and minus 2.1. And that gives me this value, which is 0 0.00794 rounded to three significant figures. So uh, I have now gotten the concentration of OH minus one coming out to be this value. And using this concentration, since uh, NOH is a strong base, which means that NOH is going to dissociate or ionize fully. So the concentration of OH ions and the concentration of NOH are going to be exactly the same. So if this is 0 0.00749 mole per decimeter cube, then the concentration of NOH would be exactly the same value. And that gives me the concentration of NOH. So remember one thing, that when you're trying to find the concentration of a base, so instead of dealing with pH, deal with pOH, because you're more interested in finding the concentration of OH ions rather than the concentration of H plus one ions. So use this expression uh, to figure out pOH first, and then using pOH, you can take the anti-log and figure out the concentration of OH minus 1 ions.